Hi there, ho there. Welcome back to my channel. It's really freaking early in the morning. Nick is still sleeping in the other room, so I'm trying to be quiet. But let's be honest, I'm the loudest person there is. <laughs> Today, I am going to bring you guys my first Valentine's Day tutorial of the season. This one is going to be more of a Merlot, like sultry kind of Valentine's Day if you're feeling a little risque, if you know what I mean. So yeah, did the brows off camera per usual. Again, this brow graduated from Harvard. This one is a high school dropout. What are you gonna do? Let's go. So I ran out of Benefit Air Patrol. <laughs> Worst day ever. So I'm going to use concealer um, instead. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Concealer and this is in the color Light Neutral and we're just going to apply this on our lids and spread it out with our fingers and apply a setting powder. Any powder you want works fine. Taking the color Sweetheart from the Tartlet in Bloom palette on my Morphe E27 brush. We're just going to use this color as a transition color. It's a perfect like pretty pink to get that um, Merlot color going. Taking the color Rebel and my Too Faced All Over Shadow Brush, we're just going to put this a little bit lower up into the crease, like creating a gradient effect. And then last, I'm gonna be taking Leader from the Tarte Light and Bloom palette and just applying that with my Morphe M433 blending brush. This is the best brush ever. And don't forget, I do have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps and you can enter that at the checkout and that'll get you a nice little discount. And to make it even more like pinky Merlot-y, I'm taking this like hot pink color from the Pantone Universe Plus Sephora palette and even though it looks like really bright pink, don't worry, it's just gonna add a nice little color in there. It's not going to make it super pink. And now I'm going to be taking Flower Child, again from the Twilight and Bloom palette and I'm going in on a Firma 203 brush. Going in with the Tardis Tarte Gel Liner, my fave, and a Morphe E38 brush. We're just going to be creating a nice wing, and you guys know I have to get super, super close to a mirror, so I hope you guys can see. <laughs> so now that our winged liner is on, we are gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Noir Mascara, and I'm just going to pop this on and we're prepping our lashes for full sleeves. So now I'm gonna be applying Huda Beauty lashes in Lana. I think that these are so pretty, especially for like a Valentine's Day look. So I forgot to prime my face. I'm taking the Smashbox Hydrating Primer and I'm just going to apply this to my whole face and then I'm gonna spray the Photo Finish Priming Water as well from Smashbox. Taking Shy Beam by Benefit Cosmetics, this is in the shade Dandelion. I'm just going to apply this under our eyes for a color corrector and blending that out with a beauty blender. And I'm really excited because I'm gonna be using the brand new Tarte Cosmetics foundation. It's called Empowered and it's a hybrid gel foundation. And I'm just going to take their little tool brush that it comes with and scoop this bad boy out dab them onto the face and then blend it all out with a beauty blender. This is like my fourth or fifth time using this foundation and I love it so much. I'm not sure when this foundation is going to be available but as soon as it is I will definitely let you guys know. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin in Light Neutral and we're just going to apply this anywhere we want to conceal and highlight and then I'm going to be blending that all out with a damp beauty blender too, yes. And to contour, this has been like my favorite method of all time. I'm definitely going to have to find a cheaper alternative because this ain't cheap. But I'm using the Dior Air Flash in 500 to contour. I'm just spraying that onto my Morphe G6 Flat Top Kabuffi. Kabuffi, Kabuki, <laughs> and buffing that out everywhere. 
to set our under eye, we're going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I like to just blend out under the eye with my beauty blender, get out any excess creasing. And then I go in with my Morphe E48 brush to just dab that in. And to contour, I'm using the matte bronzer from Smashbox. And I'm just going in on my Morphe M177 brush and we are going to chisel out them cheeks, girl. Picking back up that Laura Mercier translucent powder, we're going to bake the sides of our contour to clean everything up, and I'm going in on a Morphe M459 brush. So for blush, I really want this to be like a maroony Merlot look, so I'm bringing out the big blush book from Tarte, and I'm going to be using, oh, I'm going to be using Blushing Bride, and I'm going to dust that on the apples of our cheeks using the Morphe E4 brush. And for our under eyes, I'm going to be mixing Rebel and Leader from the Tartlet and Bloom palette, and I'm going in on a Morphe E13 brush. We're just gonna smoke out that lower lash line. And for highlight, I'm going to be using Lunch Money by ColourPop, and I'm going in on a Morphe M310 brush. I love this highlight, and ColourPop is so affordable. Their stuff is like $6, so definitely check them out. And wiping away that powder using the Too Faced Mr. Right. This brush is amazing. <laughs> so good. For lips, I'm going in with LA Splash Cosmetics, and this is in the color Mistress. This is a Laura G collaboration. These lippies are bomb. And this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this sultry Merlot Valentine's Day tutorial. Make sure you tag me if you ever do any of my looks, because I would love to see them. And thank you guys so much for watching, and don't worry, I am going to be uploading a more girly and more Valentine's Day tutorial very soon. I love you guys.